Hey, what's up guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I'm going to do a, this Wednesday word a little bit different. I'm going to add the guitar. I want this verse, Proverbs 24, 16, to stick in your mind, to be playing in your mind all day, all week, all weekend, all month, because it changes everything. Because this verse right here, Proverbs 24, 16, is the difference in the Christian versus the non-Christian. And it simply says the righteous falls down seven times but they get back up. Now, when Satan tries to trip you up and Satan tries to tell you his lies, you know, hey, you might get me down once, twice, three times, whatever it is, but I will get back up. And the reason I will get back up is because of the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Let me play a little song and I'll tell you a little more about that verse. Because it says, I understand the end game. You ever watched a, game, a ball game that you DVR'd? Then maybe your team's behind at the beginning, the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, whatever it is. But you DVR'd that game, and you saw the score at the end, and you know your team wins. So no matter what goes on during the ball game, whether they fumble, whether they throw an interception, whether they drop the ball, whatever it is. You say, I don't care, because you're smiling the whole time. Because you know when that game ends, your team wins. That's the Christian life in a nutshell. That no matter what you're going through, when Satan has you tripped up, he has temptations brought on you, he has heartache and suffering, and so many, uh, whether it's death or, or a job loss or financial problems, relationship problems, whatever it is, he has you down. You can look him straight in the eye and speak to him the promises of God's word that says in Proverbs, you know what, the righteous fall seven times, but they get back up. And that seven is a perfect number. That means just like infinity, over and over and over and over. And if you read the Apostle Paul's writings, that's what he talked about. He said, the things I don't want to do, I do. And the things I want to do, I don't do. But no matter what, I'm just going to keep on running that race to the finish line. And that's what the Christian life is all about. We get knocked down, knocked down, and knocked down, but we get back up. Because the righteous can fall seven times, but we get back up. So some of you are in the middle of an addiction. You're in the middle of of a sinful life that you know you shouldn't live. You're in the middle of a divorce, a, a bad relationship with a spouse, a, a, a brother, sister, a co-worker. You're in a, a mess with your finances, what it, and you know right now I am down. I am down, and I don't see anything but the sky. I'm, I'm down on the canvas, and I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. But you can pray to your Heavenly Father. Just like the Lord's Prayer and say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. And you can say, God, I know with you and you alone, your help, I can get back up. Because that's the hope we have. When Jesus breathed his last breath on the cross, he said, It is finished. And all this sin that, that, that weighs in our heart, weighs in our soul, that, that just bars us down, it can be shed. That veil was torn. We have direct access to the Father. And now we know what, no matter what we're going through, we can get through it because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Let that Holy Spirit work through us. On our own nature, on our own, own merit, in our own ways, we can't do it. But allow Jesus to abide in us, like it says in John, we must decrease, he must increase in our weakness. He's become strong. And we allow Christ, the Holy Spirit, to work through us and we become more than conquerors, like it said, I think in Romans 8 or 9 I read this morning. Guys, whatever you're going through, let this be an encouragement. The righteous fall down seven times over and over and over, but they get back up and get back up. So if you're down now, 
Just stay in God's word. Just say that one song I heard of there on, on, on Christian radio says, just say Jesus. Maybe that's what you need to say, Jesus. I don't have the strength to read my Bible. I feel too guilty about my lifestyle, what I'm going through. But Jesus, 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 because the Bible says we draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to us. Guys, just call on his name and you will be saved. Not just saved from heaven, from hell to heaven. You'll be saved instantly here in life. So call on the name of Jesus. He can save you because the righteous fall seven times. We get back up. If they don't light you, fire your woods with, right? That's what an old pastor used to say. Check out AcousticSelection.com. Thank you guys for all the great comments. And I love doing the Wednesday Word. Uh, God is good. God bless you. I just did fall down seven times. We get back up. Get back up. And old Satan tries to trip me. Tell me lies. But I get back up. Love is overwhelming, love is overwhelming my soul, my soul. And no matter what I go through, Jesus, I always know, I know that the righteous may fall down seven times, but get back up, get back up because you. God bless you.